This is Dark Shades and this video is about when is it too late to start over? Now I'm often hearing, especially at work, people saying, oh you know I can't do anything now, I'm getting too old. And you have this, and I think it's built into the ageist society that we live in. And I've never been one to be afraid um, or had a kind of timeline on when I can start something. Now, starting over can depend on a lot of things. It can depend on your health, it can depend on your environment, it can depend on your financial circumstances, but most of all it depends on what you want to start over. Do you want to start over um, a new life? Do you want to get a new home? Do you want to get a new job? Do you want to have a new relationship? Starting over, do you want to have a new sense of well-being? Starting over doesn't have any time limit. That's what I'm going to say with you at first. Because especially when you think about um, maybe buying a property, there will be limitations. So if you're, say, a if you're a pensioner, for example, and you want to buy a new home and you don't have, um, and you, you, you need a mortgage, well, it's going to be very difficult for someone to give you a mortgage if you're, you know, you're over 60, because they're going to be thinking, well, how is this mortgage going to be paid back? But now they are extending mortgages to, I think, about 75. But can you imagine having to work until you're 75 to pay off a mortgage? Um, I, I thought when I took out my, um, I had a mortgage on a property and I, went on to one of these interest only um, mortgages because I was made redundant and it was the only way I could pay it off. Well, pay the payments because I didn't have the income. I was redundant for nearly a year. So I took an interest only mortgage. But foolishly, I did one for 10 years and I'm thinking, OK, 10 years, I'm, I'm going to this was about over 10 years ago. I'm going to be about 60. So um, what am I going to do? By the time I turn around, you know, the time is up and I'm thinking, oh, my God, you know, I'm going to end up on the street. I started, get, I started panicking because I'm thinking they're going to want their, um, the balance of um, the money that I owe. And, you know, who's got that kind of money up front? But you don't think of that when you're taking out interest only mortgages. So it didn't occur to me that I could have started over at that point. And I could have done because now they're extending mortgages, which would have given me, say, about another 10, 15 years to pay off that mortgage. Because I didn't realise that at the time and I panicked, I decided, no, I'm not going to do that. Get something smaller, downsize, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, my point is, is that um, depending on, it doesn't even depend on your age in this circumstance. Well, it does to a degree, depending on your financial situation, I should say. You could start over. If you've, if you've sold a property and you have money um, put aside or the profit can help you buy another house that, where you don't need a mortgage, that's starting over. And you can start over at that point in your 60s. There's nothing stopping you. Um, even going to the gym starting swimming lessons you can do anything you want there is no age limit sometimes on facebook you see these women who are in their 80s and they look going to the gym and they're toned up and everything you're like bloody hell i wish you know i wish i wish but you mustn't wish away your life you can do anything you focus your mind to do even relationships, some people say, oh, I'm too old. There's a woman at work and um, I think she's 61 um, this year. And she got divorced about two years ago. And she's concerned because she's not sure whether or not it's too late to find somebody. If you watch first dates, I don't know how many of you have watched first dates. They've got some people and they're about 80. They haven't reached a 90 mark yet, but you've seen people who are 80 
and they're on first dates looking for love. And even at 80, they are picky. They are not just picking up anyone. There was one woman, I think she was 82, and the man that they paired her up with was like um, 85 or something. Anyway, you could tell the difference. She was cause she like used to like to go out and dance and um, go to a theatre. And he was his he, he had um, he was a widow. His wife. He was still moaning about his wife. I don't even know why he went on first dates because he was moaning about his wife and what she meant to him. And who wants to hear that? You know, you're going on first dates for first dates. You don't want to hear about somebody's ex and how lovely they were. And you know, you don't know how long it's going to get to go you know take to get over them well if that's the case don't go out on a date you're not nobody in this day and age I think some people think people are desperate they think at this day and age he, he probably thought oh I'm gonna find a woman who's just gonna be there and look after me and put an eye who I can moan to no you can't do that so you have to be ready um mentally and emotionally um, to start a new relationship if you're going to start a new relationship at that age and of course at that age you should be in a place where you do feel confident and you are happy with who you are and you're not looking for a prop you know where some people are looking for a prop and if that's the case um, that's not a, a good time to be starting over but there's nothing stopping you from doing anything you want to do whether it's starting a new relationship, whether it's starting a new job or a new business, whether it's starting a new home, all it depends on is your background, your fi when I say background, your financial situation, your state of mind, your environment, the technology that might be needed, and you know, of course, um, all the other little bits and pieces that are important to make something work. So, um, I'm the worst person you could ask about starting over because me, I start over all the time. If something ain't right, I am not sticking with it. And people are like, well, you're not getting any younger. You need to kind of settle down and, you know, you know, stabilize yourself. And, you know, all I know is that when I'm starting over, I'm getting closer to my goal whether I'm starting over in a profession or a dream or a relationship, I'm getting close to my, my goal. That's the way I look at it. And some people say you pick you pick until you pick shit. That might be the case. But I, I don't think it's the case. It's not in my case. Definitely not. But I think you have to have your eyes wide open. You have to know what you want and you cannot compromise. You know, sometimes you can have those weak moments where you think, OK, I'll make do. And that's the biggest mistake you can make. Never make do. Always make sure as you get older, you're supposed to be wiser. You're supposed to have some kind of integrity within yourself. You know, there's supposed to be some kind of congruence going on. And when there's no congruence, it means you're making a mistake. If you rationalise a situation, you're making a mistake. Don't rationalise, don't compromise your values. I mean, you can compromise little things that you do. Don't get me wrong. I'm not telling you to be steadfast and fixated and rigid. I'm not saying that. But when it comes to your values, if you decide that you want somebody who's on um, an equal part to you, make sure that they have you make sure they have what you have if you want um if you want to start a business that um is looking after children don't suddenly let somebody talk you into a business where you're looking after dogs you know if you want to paint your house pink don't let somebody persuade you to paint it blue know yourself know what you want and you can start over any time you want. The main thing is to have, you know, set up a project. Make sure you've got steps, steps to where you want to go. You know, map it out. Give it time frames. You can have a daily little um, poster on your wall that says, OK, today you're going to do so and so. And the next day and so on. And that can last until when you want 
when you achieve that goal. And so the only limiting factor um, would be if some if your circumstances were to change dramatically. And even then it might just slow you down. Your dream doesn't have to halt. So if I were you, if you want to start over, regardless of how long you've been in the situation that you're in, take a step outside yourself and be brave. Never be afraid. There's nothing out there to bite you as long as you're not breaking the law, as long as you're not hurting anybody or doing anything, you know, really, really bad. And what you're doing is for yourself. Go out and do it and do it with pride and confidence. Do it with a smile. Embrace what you're doing and start over with vigor, with vigor and passion. It's the only way to make things work and it's the only way you can give yourself another chance at life. I wish you luck. This is Dark Shades.